Arsene Wenger says this is the most difficult game in the competition. The second leg of the semi-final, the match in which you have everything to lose. Arsenal only survived it thanks to Jens Lehmann's defiant penalty save in Villarreal last time. Manchester United's last defeat in the competition was in the second leg of a semi. Fabregas invited to shoot. Oh, it came off Vidic and off Ferdinand and a cheap corner for Arsenal. Well, I think Fabregas would be the first to admit that it wasn't his best connection. Sanya leaning over Rooney but finding only Anderson. Ronaldo is on the move here. Giroud matching him stride for stride. Pull back towards Park, gives slips. It's Jason Park. Away goal for Manchester United. A goal that could be worth twice its weight in goal. A sad and unfortunate slip by Kieran Gibbs allows G. Sung Park to steer Manchester United into a two-goal lead and Arsenal must now score three times on the night to overhaul that aggregate advantage. You know, it is a slip by Gibbs who impressed everybody last week at Old Trafford and it's, it's a shame for him. Nervous Gibbs now giving it away to Park. And Fletcher has won it from Fabregas. And Ronaldo has won a free kick from Van Persie. Kieran Gibbs will need some help now. He was a picture of coolness and confidence a week ago. And it's 35 yards and more. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! Absolutely sensational! He went through Almunia, beaten for pace. And Manchester United have scored twice in a little more than 10 minutes here. And Cristiano Ronaldo has matched the scorcher he scored in Porto. To leave Arsenal all but beaten already. Well, listen, I think the goalkeeper's caught. Almuni, we all know, was terrific as well in the first leg. He kept his team in it. I mean, it's the sheer cheek and self-belief of the man to even think that he can blast a free kick from that kind of range. Evra. And Ronaldo is onside again. And communication from Darren Fletcher. Wayne Rooney. Oh, he did a really good save by Almunia. That was on target. And that was the Almunia we saw at Old Trafford last week. Well, it was clever of Fletcher to basically tell Ronaldo not to get involved initially. This is very well struck from Rooney. And I think it is headed right into the corner. That's a cracking stop. That really is good footwork. Anderson with the corner. Ronaldo. Well, the only man marking was Nemanja Vidic. Two of them rose unopposed. Well, I mean, you know, Arsenal had a problem. Van Persie's cross. Now, here's had it by all. Van Persie has spilt it. There's a free kick being given against Adebayo. Well, I think there's very little in that. I think the referee's been extremely kind. I agree with you, Emmanuel. Many ex centre forwards nodding knowingly in their living rooms right now, saying goalkeepers get too much protection. Ronaldo, any protection from him? Almunia got everything behind that one. Carrick. Ronaldo. Oh, that's a sliding challenge from Sanya right under the referee's nose. It's Ronaldo. Well, that one did seem to move. And a lot of the venom went out of the fixture with those two early goals. Part there got the first. Ronaldo got the second. Manchester United have another free kick, and Arsenal just feels as if the world's against them at the moment. Ronaldo takes. And so this time is Almunia. Good movement from Fletcher. Found by Evra. And here's Ronaldo. Watched by a, oh, a former Manchester United player. What's he called? He's playing the right wing. So there's been a, an evacuation of some kind there. There's a sniffer dog just uh, conducting a search. Ferdinand to Fletcher. Park. Here goes Ronaldo. Stretching Juru. He has support. Ronaldo will go it alone. And that's a very smart save by Almunia. Very quickly down to his left. Ronaldo equally as dangerous on either side, it seems. But well, look at this striker from Ronaldo. <laughs> what an outlet he is, the power he's got. It's obviously a suspicious package of some kind that they're investigating. Anderson. Almunia had to deal with that. It's a corner. 
Everybody's OK there. There was a bag which was unidentified when they cleared the area, but it's been identified. And Percy takes. Yeah. He's a star-studded Manchester United bench. And Percy, it's a chance for Nasri. Get away by Vidic. Ronaldo can break. Decent part. Rooney's got some space to his left. Here is Wayne Rooney. Ronaldo's getting up with him. Rooney has found Ronaldo. How about that? How about that? One end of the field to the other in the blink of an eye. Cristiano Ronaldo scores for the second time on the night. And Manchester United can pat their backs for Rome. What a break. Devastating, absolutely devastating for Manchester United. That's the danger with attacking Manchester United. Ronaldo has now scored 25 goals in this season, which began with injury, and in which apparently he's been patchy. <laughs> 25 goals. Van Persie did well to work shooting space, forced his fellow countryman into a good save. Youthful exuberance to win the ball and find Fletcher. Foul by Nasri. And that is going to be a yellow card for Samir Nasri, and that is a suspension from his next European game. But Bittner, who threw the legs of O'Shea, that's side netting. Yeah, it's probably a little ambitious. I mean, he's done well to get himself in that position behind John O'Shea. But I mean, Van der Sar is guarding that near post, and it was a big, a big ass to try and beat him. Here's Park. It's a good stop by Almunia, got his angles right on his near post. Well, still full of industry, Park, but maybe Arsenal just needed a little more bite. Here's Fabregas trying to provide some on the night. It's a wonderful recovery by Fletcher. Penalty's been given. Oh, he looked to play the ball. Oh, it's a red card, and Darren Fletcher, in that moment, sees his personal dream of playing in a Champions League final taken from him. There's Fletcher. He's, he's got the ball. He's got the ball. That's a brilliant, brilliant tackle, and the referee's made a terrible header. And how costly is it going to be for that lad? Against Edwin van der Sar. Rather ironic cheer greets the penalty. That is of relatively little consequence because Arsenal still need four more goals. But what is of great consequence is that Darren Fletcher, in what he says has been his best season. Adebayor. Adebayor's gone in very, very hard on it. Foots oh. up, that's... Now, he, he's, he's missed one there big time. That's outrageous. He hasn't. Well struck. Oh, did it short. And again from Fabregas. Wide. He's stretching in the end, couldn't really get the control on it. Throwing men forward again, in the hope. Flicked on, and Fabregas just helped it straight into the hands of Edwin van der Sar. His leading scorer in last season's competition. It's Ronaldo! <laughs> Too bad, was it? Well, he might have been just positioned enough then, Almunia, had it been low enough just to kind of help it on its way, but... And another Ronaldo free kick on the way, and that's not as good. Guess who's had the most shots of anybody in this season's Champions League? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Bentner. Manchester United will defend the European Cup in Rome. So Alec Ferguson just doesn't want to let go of it. Someone will have to tear it out of his hands. Questions for Arsene Wenger to answer. When does potential become prizes? Another season without a trophy for Arsenal. Manchester United's season-long treasure hunt continues.